Hi, I'm Ron Clark. Today I'm going to talk about uh, my next book, Center of Stillness, Healing, Magic, and Self-Knowledge. This book is a compendium of writings uh, from the mid to late 90s and early 2000s. Well, uh, let's see, 2006 maybe? Yeah, the latest 2006. And um, also uh, there are transcripts in here of audio recordings that I did. I did a series of audio recordings, audio only, in 2002, um, 2003, and 2006. So, the first in line is a center of stillness meditation. I wrote this in 1995. Uh, it was a very transformative time in my life. And it... The point of the center of stillness is to go into a meditative state and shut out, disconnect awareness from each of the senses in succession so that you are left in stillness. There is no sensory input. It's very much um, an emptiness of mind state uh, and a um, depth point state. It's very much going to one's own depth point by shutting out all incoming information from the world. So it takes you to a very quiet place that I call the center of stillness. So in 2003, I did an audio recording uh, of the center of stillness. The original center of stillness is an article that takes you through, e through each stage of the center of stillness. Um, pattern, patterned on the tree of life. Basically, there are ten stages. Um, so, in 2003, I developed a, a guided center of stillness meditation. Um, it's very different from the article, because the article just described uh, these states and how to get to them, but in the audio recording, I took people through the whole process of the Center of Stillness Meditation. So I publish here the transcript of that audio recording. Um, and the audio recording is also on my YouTube channel in video format. Um, I just stuck the uh, audio file in a bit into a video file. Um, so there's nothing really to see but it is something to listen to. And you can go through the Center of Stillness Meditation. It's a really lovely um, experience. Okay, the second here is <clears throat> Self-Healing, it's Ron's Self-Healing Archaeus. Uh, and it was 1997 when I wrote the original Archaeus article. And um, the article, again, um, describes the Archaeus process. And it is a process. It's not just a meditation. It is a process that you go through uh, patterned on the alchemical process known as the Archaeus. And the most famous is the Archaeus of water, where through distillation you separate the water into its elemental quadrants. Fire, air, water, and earth, finally. Um, the fire, air, and water of water are liquids. You know, the first water to come off in the distillation, this is the fire. It's the most volatile part of the water. Then the next to come off is the air of water. It's the slightly less volatile part. The third part is the really thick water comes off very slowly, very late. And then the 
earth of the water is the residue left in the retort um, that when I've done the archaeus of water it was the most wonderful smell uh, smelling substance uh, akin to ambergris uh, and I used uh, uh, dew dew water that I had collected from the grass uh, myself um, it was very wonderful experience and then once you've purified the uh, the water in this way you recombine these parts and you have a very different substance than than just dew water it's purified and it's empowered through that process of solve of dissolving you know taking it apart and then putting it back together the coagula solve at coagula this is an archaeus. Um, so, the, the self-healing archaeus is about healing yourself through a process of taking yourself apart. You first focus in your physical body and relax your entire physical body. This is the first level of healing. It's a complete and utter relaxation of your physical body and resting that is the the healing here is the resting and then the next stage of the archaeus is to do the same with your astral body you identify each of the quadrants parts of your astral body and then you relax them eventually you take the astral body out of the physical body and set it by itself and relax it. Just let it rest outside of the physical body. And then you repeat that same process with the mental body. You exteriorize your mental body and rest it. Just rest the mental body. Then you put these three bodies back together. There's a coagula after the resting of each of the bodies, you put your whole self back together, and this is the self-healing archaeus. Uh, there's further parts of it, like wandering and reintegration of wandering experiences, etc. So it's it's fairly involved process, but it you enter into it gradually. There's steps that you go through. Uh, let's see, there's in the audio so in here is the original text of the article which is the inspiration for the audio series that I did in uh, 2002 I recorded the whole um, you know I developed it into um, experiential sessions sort of guided meditations as a word a guided experience um, yeah, I translated the article into a guided experience and recorded it, uh, which is also available on my YouTube channel in the same way of just audio videos. Um, so, there is um, the transcript of all of those audio lessons in here. Okay, next in here is the magic of yod he vav he adonai this i wrote an article in 1998 which again was a, a very transformative year in my life um at the same time i was uh conducting or actually i think it was just after i had conducted the eight temples meditation project um out popped uh, uh, the magic of Yod Heva Adonai article, or attending the Unity article, um, which was about the magic of Yod Heva Adonai. Um, you know, some of you might be familiar with it. It, it is all uh, surrounding um, m the mechanisms of it, uh, all surround, or mechanics of it, all surround a canticle, a Hebrew canticle. Ani yod he vav he adonai rebon olam amen. 
So that forms the heart of the magic of Yod Heh Vav Heh Adonai, at least the heart of the practice. Um, and it takes you uh, through. Uh, the idea of it is to identify four basic aspects of uh, awareness um, and to move awareness around between those aspects and move energy uh, around those aspects of self and ultimately to integrate those four aspects of self. That's the physical, the astral, the mental, and the supernal aspects of self. Um, yeah, it's a powerful, powerful magic that I recommend to all of you. Um, so, the original article, Attending the Unity, from 1998, is in here. And then, in, again in 2002, I developed um, a guided um, education in the magic of yod heh vav um, which I call TMO for short. Um, this takes you through the process of learning the magic and learning specific techniques within the magic that will get you to a point where you're using it. Um, uh, yeah, it's a guided meditation again, all, not really a meditation, but a process, an experience that educates you in the uh, use of this magic and performance of the magic. And it's really open-ended because it, it can go far beyond what I have written down. Um, there's room for personal experimentation, etc. Okay, and there's also uh, developments of TMO that go beyond attending the unity uh, and beyond the audio lessons as well. So that information is included. Then, last but not least, is a series that I did in 2006. Um, and this was strictly an audio series. I wrote it to be an audio series. It's called Know Thyself, and it is um, an exploration, uh, a guided exploration and experience of your three bodies. Basically, uh, of your physical body, of your astral body, and of your mental body. So it helps you to identify those three aspects of yourself and experience them sort of by themselves. <laughs> um, and, you know, a lot of people have, have found that uh, helpful, groovy, whatever. <laughs> uh, so that was 2006. And also included in this edition is an appendix um, of an article that I wrote. Oh, gosh, I don't know what year that was. 19, in the 90s, let's see here. 1996, okay. Yeah, and it's a telling, a retelling of um, an experience that I had uh, with my greater self, who I call Suantha. Um, yeah, it's just an exemplar of that experience. So, Center of Stillness, Healing, Magic, and Self-Knowledge. This one costs $18 in paperback and it will be $20 in hardcover. Yeah. Okay. Next will be the 231 Gates of Initiation and the 182 Gates of the Grau Tree of Life. Okay. Bye-bye.